Moses Sitole, also known as the South African Strangler, went on a killing spree in 1994, killing at least 38 people in a year and a half. All of his victims were young women. Moses Sitole was born in Vosloris, a poor neighborhood in South Africa. At the age of five, Moses' father died, and his mother abandoned the family, leaving him and his siblings to an orphanage for years. He tried to run away because he was abused by the caretakers, and managed to run back to his mother, but she sent him back to the orphanage. In 1989, Sitole was accused of raping three women. Evidence of his crime was stacked against him, although he maintained his innocence. He spent the next few years in prison being abused by other inmates and cultivating his anger against the women who testified against him. After being released from prison, Satole took out his anger by murdering women who reminded him of the women who sent him to jail. Over the next year and a half, Satole killed dozens of women. 38 victims have been identified, but there could be more. He did this by creating a fake charitable organization called Youth Against Human Abuse. Ironically, when young women applied for a job, he took them to a field for an interview, and when they were out of sight, he overpowered, raped, and murdered them. To add insult to injury, Sitole often called the families of his victims and taunted them. Sitole's killings were known as the ABC Murders because they began in a town called Adderidgeville, and then started occurring in Boxburg and ended in Cleveland, a district of Johannesburg. Eventually, the police identified Satole as the primary suspect after he was seen with some of the victims. He called and taunted the police, but managed to evade capture for a while. Eventually, however, his own brother turned him in. When the police confronted him, Satole attacked them with an axe, but the police shot him and took him into custody. He was shot twice, in the leg and stomach, but ultimately survived his injuries. The police had shot him, but he was not dead. Satole confessed to the murders and was sentenced to 2,410 years in jail because South Africa does not practice capital punishment. He has since tested positive for HIV, but he receives treatment in prison. His wife and child also contracted HIV, but died due to the disease because of poor health care. <laughs>